here i will explain design steps related to first order low pass butterworth filter using half end design steps design steps related to related to first order first order low pass low pass butterworth filter using half uh, amp and also explain the concept of uh, frequency scaling and also explain and also explain the frequency 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 and explain the frequency scaling concept frequency scaling concept first step is uh, a low pass filter can be designed by implementing the following steps first one is choose the choose a choose a value of i choose a value of high cut off frequency high cut off frequency that is fh Higher cut off frequency of the filter. That value must be choose one by f h is equal one by two by r c. Second one is second one is select a value of c. Select a value of c less than or or equal to One microfarad. Generally, we use C value zero point zero one microfarad or zero point zero zero one microfarad. Calculate the once C is selected. C suppose let C is equal to zero point zero one microfarad. F H value choose the uh, a value of I cut off frequency F H. Once f h and c values are known and the r value is easily calculated calculate the value of r calculate the value of r using using r is equal to 1 by 2 pi f h into c fourth one is Finally, select the value of R1 and RF depend on the desired pass band gain EF. We know that pass band gain EF is equal in the low pass filter. This one is pass band gain that is constant one. That is EF. EF is equal to one plus RF by R1. Select values of R1 and RF depend on the desired pass band gain using this. Relation using this relation. These are the design steps. Next one is a frequency scaling. Frequency scaling. Frequency scaling. Sometimes there may be sometimes we need a change its cut off frequency. Once a filter designed. Once a filter is designed, there may sometimes be a need to change its cut off frequency. That means f h to f h to f h dash. The procedure used to convert an original cut off frequency f h to a new cut off frequency f h dash is called frequency scaling. the procedure the procedure used to convert the procedure used to convert an original 
original cut off frequency original cut off frequency fh2 fh2 a new new cut off frequency fh dash is called uh, is called frequency scaling is called frequency scaling to change high cut off frequency generally fh is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc choose fh value initially but you need to change fh dash that is called as a frequency scaling to change a high cut off frequency multiply r r c but not both either r or c multiplication factor is used to get the new cut off frequency to change to change a high cut off frequency to change high cut off frequency multiply multiply r or c but not both but not both by the ratio of the original cut off frequency to a new cut off frequency by the ratio of by the ratio of ratio of the original original cut off frequency to the new cut off frequency to the new cut off frequency here in filter design the needed values of r and c are often not standard a variable capacitor c is not uh, commonly used in both the in both the cut off frequencies the capacitor fh is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc fh dash is equal to 1 by 2 pi r dash c dash in both the cases generally variable uh, capacitors are not desirable c dash is equal to c c dash is equal to c fh is given choose fh value let it be 10 kilohertz or 1 kilohertz by using c was choose c value gi is 0.01 microfarad by using fh and the c calculate r calculate r here we fh need to calculate fh dash we use ratio of these two frequencies fh by fh dash fh by fh dash is equal to fh is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc 1 by 2 pi r dash c dash dash and uh, c dash c dash is equal to c that means uh, 1 by 2 pi r c 2 pi r dash c by 1 2 pi 2 pi cancel c c cancel therefore fh by fh dash is equal to R R R dash by. Suppose using the frequency scaling technique, convert the one kilohertz cut off frequency of the low pass filter to a cut off frequency of one point six kilohertz. Two frequencies are given. If you this is F H is one kilohertz. F H is one kilohertz. Need to change F H uh, to another cut off frequency that is F H dash is equal to 1.6 kilohertz therefore 1 kilohertz by 
1.6 kilo h is equal to r dash by r r dash by r 1 kilo h by 1.6 kilo h is 0.625 r dash by r therefore r dash is equal to r into 0.625 we know the value of r in the design step by using the design steps f is known and c is a standard value 0.01 microfarad and calculate r value that r value is substituted here we will get r dash value we will get r dash value example design a design a low pass low pass filter take cut off take cut off frequency take cut off frequency of take cut off frequency of 1 kilo h with pass band gain of with a pass band gain the pass band gain of 2 next second one is using using the frequency scaling technique frequency scaling technique convert uh, convert convert the 1 kilo h 1 kilo h uh, cut off frequency 1 kilo h cut off frequency of the low pass filter to a cut off frequency of a cut off frequency of 1.6 kilo h 1.6 kilo h that is equal to in case one solution f h is equal to 1 kilo h f h is equal to 1 kilo h f h is equal to 1 by 2 pi r c c is uh, let us c is equal to two standard value Known values less than one microfarad. That means 0.01 microfarad. Therefore, find out this R value. R is equal to 1 by 2 pi f h into c. 1 by 2 into 22 by 7 f h is 1 kilo h. C is 1 into 10 power minus 10 power minus 8. therefore this value is nearly 15.9 kilo ohms 15.9 kilo ohms is a, is not a standard resistance value use a 20 kilo ohms per square meter 20 kilo ohms per square meter set 15.9 kilo ohms resistance AF is equal to pass band gain. AF is equal to two given one plus RF by R one is equal to two. Therefore, RF by R one is equal to two minus one. That is equal to one. RF is equal to R one. RF is equal to R one. Let it be ten kilo ohms. Both values are ten kilo ohms. Next one. frequency scaling fh by fh dash fh is 1 by 2 pi rc fh dash is 1 by 2 pi r dash c c dash but c is equal to c dash fh is equal fh is equal to 1 kilo h fh dash is 1.6 kilo h 1 by 2 pi rc into R test C test by one two pi two pi is cancelled. C is equal to C test. Therefore, one kilo h by one point six kilo h is zero point six two five zero point six two five R test by R. Therefore, R test is equal to R into zero point 
six to five. The R value is fifteen point nine kilo ohms. Fifteen point nine kilo ohms. That is equal to fifteen point nine kilo ohms into zero point six to five. That is equal to nine point nine four kilo ohms. Nine point nine four kilo ohms is not a standard value. Therefore, we use uh, R value is ten uh, kilo ohms. By using this potentiometer, ten kilo ohms adjusted to R value is adjusted to nine point nine four kilo ohms. Nine point nine four kilo ohms. This is a filter design circuit. First one minus. R1, RF, R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohms. R, RF is also 10 kilo ohms. This one is V naught. This one is V in. This one is a part. Here we use part. 20 kilo ohms potentiometer is used here. This one is a C values. 0.01 micro farad 0.01 micro farad this is a 741 ic for fh is equal to 1 kilo h for fh is equal to 10 kilo h 10 kilo h 10 kilo h fh dash is equal to 1.1 1. 6 kilos not 10 kilos 1.6 kilos the circuit diagram is like that e dash is equal to 0.01 microfarad this is the part value r is equal to 10 kilo ohms r is equal to 10 kilo ohms here V in here ground. This one is V not. This one is R F R one ten kilo ohms. R F ten kilo ohms. With this, uh, the design uh, steps related to Butterworth low pass filter is completed.